morning. So my question today is, can you do menopause naturally? And I'm going to say yes, but you're going to need some allies and you're going to need a plan. And I would say <clears throat> some of my allies are nutritional, some of my allies are um, lifestyle, and some of my allies are my friends and family. Um, and some of my allies are learning new things, you know. So, so what is your alignment? What are you aligned to now? And what do you need to get aligned to in order to go through menopause naturally and come out the other side and have a plan for post menopause so right now I'm going through a little bit of joint aches and pains now was it because I did a rocket yoga class on Friday night which was amazing but I haven't done a lot of yoga recently I've been doing Pilates which is phenomenal for core and strength so a really great choice for post menopause fitness would be Pilates um, but I do love my yoga I've done yoga for years and years and it's been a touchstone for stress and as I've often said during menopause you know I needed to choose a different type of yoga <clears throat> excuse me in order to get through um, the anxiety and the stress and the surges of of kind of emotional stuff that come up there's all sorts of reasons for that but basically my regular yoga didn't work and I got into restorative yoga which which just completely changed my world so yin yoga I often find is too relaxing to um, going into the yin state when you've already got organs which are in the yin under sort of lower functioning state, the receptive passive state. So our ovaries, adrenals um, and our kidneys are all kind of joined and, and kind of on the same meridian in terms of Chinese medicine. And they are yin organs, they're receptive organs. They hold our eggs, um, the, the kidneys filter our, our water and minerals for us. Um, and the adrenals help us deal with stress. So when those organs become um, too full of something, they get very depleted in their energy. And so the yin yoga for me often goes into a state which is too receptive. We've already got an exhausted receptive organ. And so what I found was restorative yoga was much better. It's like the ground comes up to meet you and um, and you come into balance. So that really worked for me. But post menopause, I can do something more energetic. And that's great news for you, isn't it? <laughs> so so I'm, I, I did a rocket yoga class, which was phenomenal. Um, it was through Tri Yoga, but it was too much for me um, because I haven't done a lot of yoga recently. So as a consequence, my you know, my connective tissue is, is needing some stretching, needing some nurturing. My fascia is a little bit tight from that. So what can I do to help myself from the natural world? So I can take an Epsom salt bath. I can use some magnesium spray oil. I can take nutrients um, like this, which is a, a fabulous essential fatty acid. Um, check my link in the bio for this. I keep coming back to this one again and again and again. So any tightness, any aches and pains, you know, fatty acids are, are really essential through menopause. So many women need a lot more of these through menopause, all natural, all organic. You know, these are things that are available to us. So, so the essential fatty acids literally help oil my joints. So that's what I'm going to need. You know, if you've got brain fog, you'll also be using essential fatty acids because these will support your brain in its action. But today, you know, my concern postmenopausally is some aches and pains that have come up from overexerting myself. So how do I, how do I realign myself? Um, some stretching. The restorative yoga would be great, some essential fatty acids. Um, as a sign that when we are using our bodies, when we're using our muscle, when we're overexerting, we're going to be taking minerals somewhere to repair, restore, to refine those muscles, you know, to build muscle. We're going to need um, mineral wealth. Now, if we're not putting minerals into our body, where are we going to take those minerals from? Where in the body do we have those minerals? It's going to be from our bones. So this is a phenomenal product, Ionic Elements, um, from a different company. This is a company called Platinum in the UK or, or Purium in the States. This is a company called Aquasource. You know, I've used these products for years and years, and they are the kind of things that help see me through on a nutritional level. But you can hear that we need also to attend physically. So, you know, stretching, fascial release these are some of the things that we do in the pilates classes restorative yoga these will help me realign my body 
um, to, to, to undo that kind of stiffness and this creakiness. And I can feel it in my knees this morning. I'm like, oh, need to do something to look after those. You know, maybe I can use something topically. It doesn't have to be something which is going to have side effects. So what might I use topically? I talked about the magnesium spray oil. Or if you're really achy and pains, um, then you might use something like an Arnica massage oil. So there's lots and lots of choice and you just need to know how. How are you gonna know how? You're gonna, you're gonna, you've got a why, which is I quite like to do menopause naturally, or I'd like to support myself naturally as much as I possibly can. Can I do that alongside other mainstream medicine choices like HRT? You know, absolutely you can. If you've got problems with your HRT and it's not suiting you for some reason, or something new's come up, like you're suffering from sleep problems, or um, you find that anxiety is heightened on your HRT or your bioidentical hormones, then you're probably gonna need a little bit of adjustment, but there's lots of things from the natural world that you can use alongside your health choices to make the path easier. And we're gonna need to look into the future, you know, postmenopausally, women live. You know, my menopause was at 51, I'm 58 now, and I'm looking at living for, I'm guessing, at least 30 more years. How am I gonna look after my body? Maybe I'm gonna live as long as my granny. You know, she lived to 104 and a half. How am I gonna look after myself for all of those years when I still need a little bit of <clears throat> my um, estrogen, I still need a little bit of my progesterone, I still need testosterone as part of what gets us out of bed in the morning. But we need to balance those hormones. Now, how did I do that? You know, um, some of it, as I say, was diet. You know, these are my friends, my allies, things like the green superfoods and eating organic. You know, I'm giving you lots of tips today. But if you want to learn more, come across to my Facebook group, which is called Managing Menopause Naturally. Drop me a line by email, caroline at carolinegaskin.co.uk or sign up to my newsletter on my website, which is carolinegaskin.co.uk. So, you know, I'm looking at launching a great space for women to find out how to support themselves naturally through perimenopause. I'm getting more and more women asking me, am I in perimenopause? What can I do to support myself? I'm seeing my sisters go through a difficult time at menopause. Can I start something now? And I'm like, yes, you absolutely can. There's some brilliant things that you can put in place now that are gonna help you. So come over to any of those spaces, my Facebook group, um, sign up for my email newsletters and look for what's coming because I believe that there, and I know there are incredible resources and I believe that I've got lots of resources I can share with you to help you through um, making some natural choices for menopause. Thanks, speak to you soon.